The Earth's climate has changed on many timescales in response to natural factors. On long timescales, such as tens of thousands of years, we see the Earth move in and out of ice ages. At the other extreme, El Niños come and go every few years, temporarily raising the Earth's temperature. Over the course of the last century, there has been an unusual increase in the average global temperature, accompanied by changes in extremes of weather. So what aspects of our climate are changing, and what is causing these changes? Since we emerged from the last ice age around 11,000 years ago, the Earth's climate has remained relatively stable, with global temperatures averaging at about 14 degrees Celsius. However, in the last century, our climate has started to change rapidly. This isn't thought to be just a temporary blip in the system. The evidence points to a long-term change in our climate, which is happening at an unusual rate. But how can we tell if these changes are natural or whether they are down to us? There are many factors that cause a warming of our climate. For example, more energy from the sun, large natural events such as El Nino, or an increased greenhouse effect. Scientists have ruled out the sun and natural variations in our climate as the major causes of the recent warming. There is overwhelming evidence that most of the warming we've seen is due to increased amounts of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases such as water vapour, carbon dioxide and methane occur naturally in the atmosphere. But human activities have directly increased the amount of carbon dioxide, methane and some other greenhouse gases. These increases can be through the burning of fossil fuels such as coal and oil, and changes in land use such as chopping down forests for cattle grazing. The amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere has increased by 38% since the Industrial Revolution. And because it stays for such a long time in the atmosphere, as we emit more, it continues to build up. There is a natural carbon cycle in our climate. Carbon dioxide enters the atmosphere from a variety of sources. From the oceans, land and vegetation, from animals breathing or volcanoes erupting. They are sources of carbon dioxide. This in turn is absorbed by things like trees and plants, especially as they grow, by rocks and by the oceans. They are sinks of carbon dioxide. This cycle has been delicately balanced for thousands of years. However, the increases in the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere cannot yet be explained by these natural phenomena alone. The world has warmed by three quarters of a degree in the last century. On top of this, we have seen changes in extremes of weather, such as heat waves and heavy rainfall. The current changes are very unusual and cannot be explained simply as part of any natural cycle, such as El Nino and La Nina. Natural cycles can lead to periods of little or no warming and other periods with rapid warming. However, what is important is to look at the longer term trends in global temperature which are rising and which scientists believe is almost certainly caused by human activity. When studying climate change, scientists draw their evidence from many sources. Are humans contributing to the warming we are observing? Or could it be natural causes and changes to the climate? Scientists such as those at the Met Office Hadley Centre are continuing to look at all the possible effects both man-made and natural. However, it is widely understood that our emissions of greenhouse gases are causing changes to our climate. For more information, visit our climate change pages on our website. <laughs>